Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're back in the kitchen here. Jackie's here. Jackie Kalminer. Hi. You probably know Jackie from Meyer because she's just. Yep, I'm there all the time. You've been there forever. So she's a good friend of mine, and I've been bugging her to come up and play. So that's what we're <laughs> that's doing. We're going to play today. So we have a very, oh, we're at Connie's Kitchen at Treetop Lodge. Forgot to say that. <laughs> I get so excited. It is a hot, humid day. Tomorrow's very. the first day of fall. So we're going to make mac and cheese because doesn't that make perfect sense? Perfect sense. I could turn the air conditioning up. We could act like it's cold, but, yeah, I'm good. but you're in a tank top and I'm in shorts. So anyhow, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start some prep right now. Um, we're going to make a simple dessert. So Jackie's going to peel apples. These are not my usual honey crisp apples, as much as I love them. This is a new one. What did we call it? Sweet Tango. Sweet Tango. It's supposed to be a cross. Oh, I'm throwing them on the floor. <laughs> You'll feel right at home here because yes. I do the same thing. She's just flinging <laughs> apple at me. So this is a cross between a honey crisp and something else. So we're going to try it and yep, see give it, it a I try. Think for our preparation, I think it'll work just fine. We're going to kind of make a simple apple crisp type thing. But for the mac and cheese, I want to do some bacon topping. So what I do, you notice this is not a full package of bacon. It's been in the freezer. And if I want to make basically crumbled bacon, I can leave it in the package. And I can do this with my big rock and chop. And then what I get is the bacon already cut up. And oh, then yeah, I there you go. throw it onto the pan, all, it's still frozen, and as it cooks, it breaks up, and then I don't have to crumble the bacon separately. And the bacon is gonna be for the mac and cheese, kind of a topping. So I'm gonna cook some bacon, and some onions, and some apple peel. <laughs> we'll throw some apple peel in with the bacon. I'm not gonna put my hand over there because I know don't what, want my fingers chopped off. Well, you know what it is? I pull the peeler towards me. You, I pull you, away. Everybody's got their own style. Here, have your apple back. Okay, thank you. All right. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to brown up some bacon, some onions, and then we'll set that aside. Okay, so after... Am I using this knife or that knife? Whichever that? one you want. I think I want the bigger one. Go, go for my eagle claw. All right, so I've got some bacon. So now this is going to go right back in the freezer, and then I don't have to feel compelled to cook an entire pound of bacon when I really don't need to. Yes. Okay. I threw a pat of butter in there. Okay. And then I think we're going to dump some rum in and just let it sit and simmer a bit. Sounds yummy. And then it'll simmer through and then it'll cool a bit before we put it together <coughs> for a dessert. So you keep peeling. I'm going to go throw this back in the freezer. Okay. Now if I was at home, of course, Chris would be going, oh, well, I'll cook up the rest of that bacon. <laughs> no, 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 no. Right? All right. So I'm going to chop up some onions. And I told Jackie, normally first time here I make people do this. But today I gave her the apples. Because why? Because I'm a really nice person. Yes, you are a very <laughs> nice person. And I thought you were going to cook that onion right in the pan hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told you. Yes, you did. And since, you know, I've done bizarre <clears throat> things, that wouldn't be that far off the mark. But I would think peeling it after it was cooked would be tough. Yeah, I know. I was thinking the then same thing. Then put a lot thing, of yep. onion paper in yep. your mouth, which is not too pleasant. So how long have I... I know, and I've known Dave. We were trying to figure out the other night. Dave is Jackie's husband. Got to know him really well with Gypsy, which we figured to be, what, 12 years or so? Yeah, I think so. So how long have I known you? Not sure, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've been coming into the store for a long time, so... Yeah. I mean, I've been there almost nine years, so... So that's probably about that. Right. And then you and Dave got married last year. Yes, we did. August was a year. Uh, so happy for you. Me too. You're an awesome guy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drain the pasta, okay. which I had the foresight to start early so we wouldn't have to wait for it. <clears throat> and here's the next steam shot. Woohoo! <laughs> and that's what you call a kitchen facial. Woohoo! That's hot. There we go. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a double batch of okay. mac and cheese, two different flavors. We're going to do some with your standard sharp cheddar, and the other one we're going to do with a blend of white cheddar and parmesan and mozzarella and Dijon and such. That sounds really good. Yeah. For a nice hot day. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to drain this, uh, rinse this with cold water, which you usually do to stop the cooking. Correct. And I'm not, I'm going to let some water sit in it so that it won't get all clumpy before we get back to it. So right now what I have is my bacon is starting to sizzle. You can I hear can it. hear it. Yep. 
Got to listen to your food. And the onions are starting to sizzle. There we go. So Jackie and I was, were talking about this earlier, but I'll tell you, the reason I'm wearing my unicorn apron today is we just found out this week that the unicorn promo that we shot up here at the lodge has been nominated for an excellence award at the Philos. Yay! Philo Awards. So over the weekend, I was asked to host the awards, <clears throat> which was really cool. And then Monday, I found out that Kyle and I, the, the promo that we shot with all our friends out here, is up for a, a, an excellent award. I know. Yay, that's I can't awesome. even Congratulations. say Congratulations. I'm, you know, we're thrilled, and it sounds cliche to say we've been nominated, but we really are. Because it was such a collaborative effort. It was something completely different that we'd never done before. And we had a ball doing it. And then on top of that, for people to recognize what we did. And oh, yeah. It's, no, it sounds like fun. Yeah, it's really... Right, the apples are ready. All right. So, pour a little bit of rum in there. Not a lot. Okay, what's a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> well, what we want to do is get enough moisture in there to get them started. So that then okay, the natural... <laughs> Should I just pour the whole no. bottle? <laughs> <laughs> that's mostly going to cook off. What that's going to do I is know. give it something to sit in until the natural juices from the apple starts coming right. out. Right. So we put that back on the simmer burner, and I should give that a little zhuzh around. See, it's starting to break yep. up. Yep. Yeah. And let me see. Oh, the apple smells really good. Yeah, it does. I mean, yeah. it wasn't bad. It just wasn't, like I don't said, an apple crisp. And it doesn't look as juicy as the honey crisp. Or the honey crisp, that's what I meant. Yep. It, yeah, I think that's what the difference is. So, mm. you know I'm not a big bacon lover, this smells good. <laughs> that's because of the onions. Yeah, I love onions. You gotta have the onions. Oh, we definitely always gotta have onions. Oh, yeah. I actually know people that don't like onions. Yeah, my husband doesn't like onions. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, it was, uh, I had, Elise was up here a couple weeks ago, and the th only thing I was told ahead of time is she doesn't like onions, garlic, or potatoes. I said, then why is she coming here? Yeah. But we made something where we cooked the onions into it. And she didn't even know and it, right? She loved it. She said, and I said, the different, I said, what you don't like are raw onions. Right. Dave, I mean, if it's cooked into something, he's fine. Yeah. Because it's then when you cook it, then the sugar comes up. Right. And you get that whole different thing going on. So I'm going to actually start grating some cheese while Jackie's keeping an eye on the bacon. This is a lovely wedge of a nice sharp cheddar and I'm going old school with my grater here. I love cheese. I, I eat cheese all the time. Yeah. I have a friend who's on a, a clean eating program where one of the first things they say you can't have is cheese. <gasps> I don't know. Uh, talk about withdrawal. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't know. I guess it's not that cheese is bad for you. I think it, these programs, a lot of them, it's the combination of what you eat. Right, yeah. So there must be something about, I don't know, dairy or something. I don't know, but oh, that smells good. And it's funny, as often as I do this, and I don't want to say this, but I'm really good about watching my right hand, but I tend to hold this other side with my left hand, mm -hmm. and it's really sharp. Yeah. So I end up with all sorts of little Cuts. dents, and well, luckily I haven't, I haven't done that yet, because then I would have to throw this out and start over. And since it's my only black sharp cheddar, I don't want to have to do that. So we are going to do mac and cheese and apple crisp type thing. So when we come back, we'll probably have the bacon up and ready to go and we will start building our sauces. We'll do dueling sauces. I'll have Jackie make one and I'll make the other. It's getting warm in the kitchen. Ah, welcome fall. <laughs> See you soon. How are we coming back there? Yeah. Just think, what if we didn't have local TV and radio? Where would I go for local sports? Local politics, a mayor, city council, stuff that affects me every day. How about health? Who's covering things that endanger my family? I need to know now, as it happens, from sources I trust, people in my community. No agenda, no bias like you find on cable and social media, just facts. For news I can trust, I stay local. Support your local station. Text TV to 52886 today.
Battles aren't won solely on the field. That's a common misconception. Battles are won within, over enemies of fear, enemies of doubt. In that place where promises are kept. Promises to oneself. Promises to one's community. Promises to one's country. In the heart of every Marine, you'll find a promise. A promise forever kept. A promise of Battles Won. America, meet Greg Anderson. Served two tours in Afghanistan, Bronze Star and Purple Heart recipient, and unemployed. The unemployment rate among transitioning service members is unacceptably high, much higher than the general population. Veterans are a proven commodity. They're mature, reliable, and hardworking, and they deserve a chance to get back to work after serving their country. Do you really want to honor a veteran? Hire one. Go to legion.org slash honor veterans to find out how you can help. See, he three, two, ones us. Yes, Isn't that does. better than like rolling? Yes, much better. <laughs> much better. All right, so what we're going to do is stand over this hot stove on this 80 degree day. I've got some butter started melting, and what we're going to do is a real simple roux. Okay. Okay? So to do that, now you're going to start whisking, and since Jackie is the guest today, I gave her my whisk, can't find my other one, so I'm going to use this. Jackie's going to be making the more traditional, see, there goes the flour, <laughs> cheddar cheese sauce. Yeah. And I'm going to be making the white cheddar sauce. So this, what you got happening here is it's just starting to thicken up a little bit. And you don't even have to worry. Too, now that's nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry too much about lumps at this point. But this becomes your thickening agent. Okay. So now you're going to want to add some milk, and just and keep whisking. So that's why I have everything right here to hand. How much milk? Just a little at a time, because you're, you're building a sauce. Okay. Rather than dumping it all in. Right. Because each thing has to kind of work together. You see? And don't, like I said, this is the kind of thing where you don't have more milk. Okay. You don't have to worry too much about lumps because we're mixing it so much. Mm -hmm. The apples, by the way, are smelling <clears throat> great. Okay, why are you using half and half and I'm using... I just want a little different flavor okay, in this gotcha. one. Yeah, just then, and because I like to use things up. <laughs> so while you're still mixing, I'm going to throw in some, keep, keep mixing and you can uh -huh. add more milk. Okay. It's better to be conservative because once you put it in, you can't take it out. So right. you're doing exactly the right thing. So I threw in some cream cheese. And now I'm going to... Oh, you're doing great. You see, as you add each thing, it's just blending and right. becoming a sauce. Okay, now you can start to add some of your cheese. I have an extra bag of cheese, but let's start with what we grated fresh. Okay. Now see, my sauce is getting a little too thick from the cream cheese, so I'm going to add some more liquid. This is very intense, the two of us standing over the stove <laughs> like this together. This is a whole new thing. Oh, that's beautiful. Why, well, thank you. Add more cheese. <clears throat> so you add more milk? You want me to get you cheese all over the place? That's all right. We have a crew that cleans up. <laughs> we do? Is that Kyle standing behind me? <laughs> 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 Unicorns. Oh, that's right. I forgot. All right, so Jackie's more cheese. Jackie has started to add her cheese. So I'm going to begin to add. All over the place. That's all right. I'm going to start to add my cheese. There goes my white cheddar. Yum. Put my oven glove back on. And as the cheese goes in, you just keep stirring till whatever handful you added has melted. Okay, I got some mozzarella. I see I put mozzarella in mine. Oh, yeah, you did. And there goes some fresh parm, Yum. nice shaved parm. We have got the most interesting combination of fragrances coming up off the stove right now. This would be a good time to salt and pepper. This is fresh ground pepper, and what I do is I grind it up, and then I put it in my shaker so it's always to hand. Because okay. a lot of times, like when you're doing this, you only have one free hand. Right. And then we're going to... Again, not a lot of either because people right. can add that. Right after. 
Boy, we are quite a team. Yes, we are. Am I turning this the wrong way or is it just not? Turn it upside down. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at how gooey <laughs> that is. Uh huh. And now this one is going to get a touch of Dijon. Right. All over my hand is what it's going to do. Mmm. More cheese. It looks so yummy just the way it is. Oops. Knocking things down. Well, at this point, we also have to think quantity. Right, exactly. Because gonna we're going to split that, that right. pasta. And we got to cover it up with the cheese. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. Put my oven glove back on. Oh, look at this. And it starts fighting back a little bit. I like it when my food has some fight in it. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, she's just splattered me with milk. Yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I add some more parm. See, the thing about this is even though we started with that small roux, you can go on and on. The longer you keep adding all your ingredients a little mm -hmm. at a time, right. then you just decide when you're at the right quantity because you're at a perfect consistency right now. So then it just becomes about quantity. What you don't want to do is just say, oh, I'm going to dump in the rest of the cheese and then not think about the liquid factor right. or the salt and pepper. Now you notice mine has more of a, a different consistency. I don't really know how to describe it because I'm using the half and half, which has fat in it, whereas Jackie's using the skim. So, and we did that purposely because then the cheddar flavor really comes through. The half and half just seems to work really nice with these, this blend of cheeses that I'm using. I'm going to take a quick minute to stir our apples. <gasps> look at those. Oh, those look yummy. Oh. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Get nice and tender. I don't want to cook them all the way down because I want a little bit of, a little bit of love there still. Put some mozzarella and provolone in. Put some on the floor, you know. Put my glove back on. Yeah. Don't burn yeah. yourself. Well, you know what? So I'm using weird tools and having to wear a glove to make a sauce. But I love that you're here. <laughs> Me too. This yeah. is fun. And you know what? You know, I told you we're in other markets now. We're in Kalamazoo and Grand Rapids. I know, that's awesome. And Ann Arbor and Lake Orion. And I understand we've had inquiries for more. So hopefully soon we'll be welcoming more stations. So for now, in case I haven't mentioned lately to our new viewers, I love having you here in the kitchen. I love hearing from you. It's, it's all good and uh, very exciting. And see, now you're part of it. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. So happy. Yeah. I know it. And look, you get to take dinner home for your hubby tonight. Yep. <laughs> all right, so all I've done is just added back and forth um, the different cheeses I'm using. Jackie's doing the more traditional. So there we have it. How's your? Con oh, that's a beautiful consistency. Now, what happens when you do this? Oh, look at that. Still lumpy. A little bit. Gotta get that cheese melted. And if you need to add a little bit more liquid, actually, you're not. You're not I don't think I need more. No, I think you're doing really well. And you've never done this before. No, I've not. But ever. you see how simple it is. Yeah, it is. It's very simple. And macaroni and cheese is all the rage right now. Yes, it is. It's a very basic process, and it's just everybody that does it puts their own spin on it. Yep. But if you can make a good basic sauce like that, you can do anything with it. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. You go ahead for a second, get your lumps down. And then we're going to start, when we come back, we're going to mix it up and put our dessert together and have lunch. Yay! Okay, so good. mix and let me know when you're ready. If we want to improve America's healthcare system, let's start by improving the health of Americans. Despite the best doctors, hospitals, and medical advancements, Americans are not as healthy as they should be. We spend too much on treatment and not enough on wellness and prevention. We need a system based on primary care. When patients have a medical home and a long-term relationship with a doctor, the result is a longer, healthier life and reduced medical costs for everyone. Let's make America a place where health is primary. What could you lose in a home fire? Your possessions? Your home? Your memories? Don't let your world go up in smoke. Make sure you have working smoke alarms and keep children three feet away from anything that gets hot because fire is everyone's fight.
Have you mixed your pain meds, your sleep meds, your allergy meds? Call the Poison Helpline. Has your child swallowed household cleaner, a chip of paint, a wild mushroom? Call the Poison Helpline. Have you been bitten by a spider, a snake, an insect? Call the Poison Helpline. Poisonings can happen at the home, on the job, or in the great outdoors. Call the Poison Helpline first to speak with medical professionals who can give you free personal advice anytime. 1-800-222-1222. Save the number, save a life. The flu is unpredictable and can be serious, even for healthy people. A flu vaccine is your best protection. Who needs to be vaccinated against the flu? You. Protect yourself, your friends, and your family. Get a flu vaccine. And we're back. I, sorry, I forgot to say goodbye in the last segment, but it got kind of warm. Yes, and it did. I got a little floopy. <laughs> so now we've got our pasta done, and instead of going ahead and mixing it, this is a fun idea. I mean, we would put these in nicer bowls, Correct. but what you could do is put your pasta in the center of the table, give everyone a, a bowl. bowl, and let them choose. So you put some pasta, go ahead, put some pasta in your bowl, fling I'm it around the room a little yep. bit. This is great because she's the one who's throwing everything off the table yep. instead of me. Usually it's me. <laughs> and then I should give you a spoon of some sort to serve your pasta sauce with. Oh, heck, a ladle will work. There you go. There you go. And I will do the same thing. And then we will try. And then you can put like, today we did bacons and, bacon and onions for toppings. You could do fresh veggies. You could saute up some veg. Or you could put out more cheese. All sorts of different toppings so everybody mm -hmm. kind of creates their own plate. Yeah, see, and then you mix it up yourself. Yeah. And it's ooey and gooey. Yes, it is. And, and this thing is still hot. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to do that real quick. Oh. <clears throat> My gosh, this looks really good. <clears throat> I have to try some go, of that Go ahead. Too. You're going to have both. Go ahead and try it. I'm going to try this. Yep. Okay. Something behind me still cooking. No. Mm -mm. So? Good. Very it, good. Do you need salt and pepper? Mm -mm. I mm -hmm. don't. I'm good. All right. I'm going to try some of the bacon on it, though. Oh, yeah. And onions. And I talked about it, but did I do it? No. There we go. Look at this. You're not even a big bacon fan, and no, you're having I'm some not. bacon. Yeah, I know, right? Coolio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's what I'm going to do too. And then we're going to put together our little dessert thing. But I'm going to have to try this first. Mmm. 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 Wow. Yum. I know, you can I want to try the white sauce too really bad. Please do. Dig in. Now, is, that should be just a straight cheddar flavor. Right, it is. Got the, yeah, mm -hmm. good. Good, good. All right, so we had our... I'm stealing some here. Oh, go ahead. That's what it's there for. We like to share food. Watch me dropping stuff all over. So now we're going to put together a very wow, that's good. A very simple. Do you like? Yes, very much. Does the Dijon come through for you? Yes. Good. So the cool thing about doing what I'm doing right now, this is just granola that I mixed in a little bit of fresh coconut for a little taste of sweet. Yum. Do you want Love that granola. Big chunk. So do that. You've got a couple dishes there. Okay. I'm going to take this so you don't just dip into it. <laughs> you could if you want. Right. And then we're going to take some of the apple. And I'm putting them in these little jars because it's a really cute way to serve this. Or you can put the lids on the jars and stick them in the fridge and take it to work the next day. There you go. It's, I mean, it's just so simple. Okay, and I put some apple in there and give me that back. Which We are just like a well-oiled yes, machine here, are. aren't we? And then I'm going to crumble a little bit more on top. I didn't know you how much you love granola. I'm glad. Oh, I love granola. This was I actually lightly, I lightly toasted it and then tossed it with the uh, coconut. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of crumble on top. Thank you. And I'm not going to put the lids on right now, but because it's still really hot. But right. you could. You put the lid on it and yeah. you stick it in the fridge, take it to work the next day. 
Awesome. Send it to the office with friends. Yep. Whatever you want to do, and then we're going to taste it. I'm throwing more stuff on the floor. Mm. This seems to be my thing today. That is really nice. Did I give you a fork? We've got yeah, a fork. Yeah, it's in my... So, while Jackie's tasting and making ooh-ah noises, <laughs> I'm going to say what I always say. This is Connie at Treetop Lodge, Connie's Kitchen. And you can call me anytime at 248-933-4579. Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. You can email me at stormy3958 at att.net. Check out our Facebook page at Treetop Lodge Oxford and our website, which is www.treetoplodgeoxford.com. It's very technical, but I get through the yes. whole thing. It's mouthful. <clears throat> yeah, so we've got a lot of stuff going on up here. Next week we have the posse dinner, and Jackie, my dear friend, is offered to come up and help with the service Looking that night. Looking forward to it. Yeah, that's going to be like fun. fun. The posse is the group of volunteers in Oxford that puts the whole Lone Ranger thing together, primarily the parade, the huge 95-entry parade they wow. did this year. That's a lot. That's a big parade. And that's why we had General Custer and his wife here, because they were in the parade. Yeah, that was a very interesting interview. I watched that. Oh, thank you. It was a, they were fascinating people, really fascinating. <laughs> of course, we have scrapbooking. We've got a baby shower coming up in a couple of weeks. Wine dinner this Sunday. We're back to our wine dinners. And then October 22nd, we still have some openings. So this will air before then. And we're getting back on schedule. We're, we're shooting just about every week now because we want to get out to our new stations so that everybody knows what's going on. What's fun is, I think Kyle sends the current episode, and then they go back and they start looking for the rest. Yep. So the numbers on the earlier ones are climbing, and my total playlist is almost to 9,000 right now. Wow. Which, I mention that often, and then I say for Oxford, that's viral, but it really is. Yeah, for, yep. And very, this was episode, this is episode 47, I think. Kyle's nodding yes. <laughs> So we'll do 48 and 49. We're going to do some remotes. We're going to the fire station. Oh, that'd be fine. We're going to go down to a new restaurant in town that's opening, Concho Pearl. I thought it made more sense to go to their kitchen than to come here. And we have more people coming up here. And then episode 50, Chris will come back because he comes every 10 episodes. And that will be our golden episode. So I don't know quite what I have planned yet, but... I definitely have to get him to make me a Bloody Mary. Oh, I yeah. I that one, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And just so you know, that day he had to go back to the office, so he drank a little on camera that I put it in a container, and I took it home so when he got home from work, he was able to finish it. He did not chug that and go back to work. <laughs> so that's the kind of stuff we have going on up here. If anybody wants to come up and take a tour or plan an event and eat great food. Yes, but I amazing food. And I highly recommend doing something like this, putting it in the middle of the table, letting everybody oh, have what they fun. want. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. We actually did this for a wedding here when Aaron and Jesse got married. Oh, that would have been neat. Two big, big pots of macaroni and cheese. We did mix the sauce in for that one, although we had extra sauce. Mm -hmm. And then I think we had like 30 different toppings for, you know, whatever anybody right. wanted to put on their mac and cheese. So this, the mac and cheese itself is pretty basic. This is a little fancier with the Dijon and stuff. Right. But um, it, it just take that basic gooey flavor. I used the elbow macaroni today because it's just it's so old style, yep. so classic. Yep, classic. Definitely. Yeah, a lot of times if I want, it's easy to make it look more upscale, just use a cavatappi or a penne. And then it looks more like grown up mac and cheese. <laughs> and do you, you try? Oh my gosh, it's and great. That is just, and I think that apple is lovely. Maybe in this, in this, yes, and for it's cooking, very good, yes. It absorbed the rum, but the rum cooked off. So it really is nice. Mm -hmm. That's a good sweet tango, do we call that? Mm-hmm. Okay, sweet tango apples. A nice alternative. So we're going to wrap it up. I'm so glad you were here. Thank you very much. I had fun. Other than coming to work next week, you have to come back here sometime. Oh, definitely. Okay, Most great. Definitely. And we'll see you soon. In the meantime, be good to each other and remember the promise. And check back into Connie's Kitchen soon, and we will keep you updated on what's happening with the uh, Philo Awards. Philo Awards. <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll see you soon. And we're going to have lunch. Yes.